I just want to back in my room here. I just want to kind of show you what we got going on here in the Singapore hotel room. We got me, Jonathan, and Matt. I think I'm just going to take this bed here because I'm sitting on it. And uh, I want to show you a little bit more about what I was thinking about on the plane with the master physicist. He looked like Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? He wasn't, though. Otherwise, it would have been all over. Um, okay, so it was mostly about uh, Einstein's, uh, Einstein's equation here. Let me switch this up so I can see, so you can see me. Okay, so it's mostly about Einstein's equation here. Um, I'm just going to do this briefly because I want to go next door to meet uh, Matt and Jonathan and all of them have a beer or a wine or whatever. Okay, here's a beer. It's got the gluten in it. Um, so I knew I was working on something early on the book. Maybe. Or did I just do everything later on? Okay, no, it's just all later on. Okay, let's just start. It was all starting back here. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll show you from the start to the beginning, right? So I'm thinking about this stuff. Think about light, all right? Light. Oh, shit, so let me figure this Okay, uh, thinking about, oh, this was not the beginning, I know it wasn't the beginning. Oh, damn it, where was the beginning? Was it the beginning? Ugh. Okay, yeah, because this is the, oh, wait, what is this page before this? Okay, 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 whatever, anyhow. Think about e equals mc squared. Oh, this is where it started. 696. Okay. 696 was in um, the train on the way here. So I started thinking about 696 and I said, okay, that's two pairs of, three pairs of twos, two pairs of threes, three pairs of threes, and then two pairs of threes, right? So I thinking about, okay, so we got two pairs of threes. All right, so that's two, two uh, kind of systems there. And then we got one in the middle. And so I started thinking about that, this and that, this and that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And um, 696, blah, blah, blah. So the interesting part was this, right? So if I got two, two plates here, right? And um, this is basically the model, the, this one, right? The one that I discovered here from the train, 696, whatever that meant. And then that was basically two plates, uh, a middle plate, a middle emergent force, and then two more plates, right? So this is like positive negatives um, and... Yeah, so actually you can see a better representation of this. See, that's why this is all out of order. This is strange. Whatever. Anyhow, it basically means something like this, right? I'm trying to analyze E equals MC squared. Um, <clears throat> looking at these two plates. These two plates have kind of a reciprocal feedback effect. So basically what I'm realizing here is that, look, this is, we have E equals MC squared. Yeah, that's like the particle, right? But there's a wave to that equation. That's EM equals MMC squared. So that's energy, mental energy equals mental resources times light squared, right? And then physical energy equals physical resources times light squared. And then the emergent um, equation from those two, these are dynamical kind of equations, right? Dynamical emergentist equations. And the emergent result of the two is actually equals mc squared. So Einstein was right, of course, but there is this more, there's more to it, right? And um, so then I basically started getting into that. I said, okay, energy can be neither created nor destroyed, but translating energy from mental to physical, the mental has the capacity to increase the output of physical forces with minimal, minimal mental energy. So we're, what we're looking at here is, yes, energy is maintained, but there's a way to amplify energy without increased energy input, right? So that's through sense making, through acquiring perceptual logic. So what do you do? People, basically humans um, embed, imbue the environment with meaning, right? In order to, in order to, uh, in order to make it, um, in order to increase their work, right? So here we have work, you know, work and sense making, then we have play, and that's like this like little, you know, 1A here. And then we got two more work, 2A play, three more work, three, you know, play, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the artifact literally puts the thought in the head. Certain process of E is invested in defining state of the artifact, right? So you have an energy encoding, and you have a phase shift for that energy encoding. Um, and ah, that was quick. Just a shot and a beer, and that was it. No, he just wanted me to see how expensive it was. Oh, how much was it? 